Living the dream, brah. Yeah. Living a perfect day in paradise. Make sure I look good still for you people. Hi. I'm Greg Hetson. You might not recognize me from some of my early good stuff in Bad Religion, Circle Jerks, early version of Red Cross. Started playing guitar because my parents said to be a uh, well-rounded human being, you need to play an instrument, son. So then I heard some music on the radio, in particular the riff to uh, Up Around the Band by Credence, and I asked my dad, what's, what's that? And he goes, that's guitar. I go, I want to play guitar. And then uh, kind of heard punk rock. I heard the Dickies on the radio. I went to go see them, and, and I saw that, and they were all young like me, and I saw the crowd, and it was terrifying, but you know, it got, it, it inspired me. It's like, I can be in a band. I don't have to be larger than life, like Kiss, and every, everybody was welcoming, even though I did not look the part as punk rock when I started going to the shows. And I was in Photoshop one day, my senior year of high school, there was this kid with a punk rock flyer on his peachy folder, and it was a bags flyer, and I go, hey, you went to punk rock? And he kind of looked at me like I was gonna give him shit. He goes, yeah. I go, yeah, me too, and we started talking. Yeah, it was Jeff McDonald, we were in Photoshop together, and that's how Red Cross formed. So we grew up in Hawthorne, California, home of the Beach Boys. I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not a huge fan. Oh, did I just say that? I'm just being a punk rocker, brah. So yeah, the punk scene in the late 70s, early 80s exploded around 1980 with bands like the Weirdos, X, Germs, whatever, Bags, blah, blah, blah. They kind of went from uh, an underground of a couple hundred people to a thousand, you know, sometimes 3,000 people. The Southern California surfer, skater scene, they kicked it up a notch when it came to what they did in the audience. You know, with the circle pit, and stage diving, and you know, a lot of people never saw that stuff. One of the people that came up with this, one of them was Tony Alva. I remember one particular show up in San Francisco, and people freaked out, and one of our friends got hit over the head with a beer bottle, and you know, they were still pogoing up there in 1980. And they brought the, uh, the craziness up, and it kind of spread from there. If you want to own a piece of something that meant something to you, you know, you have a connection to what I did and what my bands accomplished, this is a great opportunity to own a piece of history, punk history, who would have thunk? It's not quite a Van Gogh, but the next best thing, this is the next best thing to owning a, a Rembrandt, a Picasso, a Hetson.